doesn't just disappear and you're like, hey, what happened on this call? Um, hmm, who was that? When was that? You know, relying on memory and, you know, whatever, we'll just move on. I think, though, it is up to the, the center in hiring the people that they're hiring to find people, then hire people and coach to making it a welcoming, warm environment. If you're hiring the right people, they can create that personal connection, just like the folks that are sitting with the doctor at the office, right? right. They can. I can't tell you over the 13 years um, how many calls I got that a cake was waiting at an office that a patient had made for the person in the call center. They wanted to thank them for going above and beyond of getting their issue addressed and fixed right. um, and taking extra time to do that. They were typically surprised to find that they aren't on site. We just say that they were in the doctor's administrative offices, that they weren't on site, um, but that the staff would be enjoying the cake that was brought in. Right. That day. <laughs> so I think if you nice. do that connection of having that personal, if you get the right person, and in fact, what you're really trying to get from the patient is that they respect and are thankful that the doctor is surrounding themselves with qualified, good staff. Right. So you're kind of turning it on its head, really, because you're enhancing the relationship now, right? And when you think about it, how much time does a doctor end up spending with that patient anyway? 